Hey everyone, so this will be a continuation video for our health check GUI. So currently we have a GUI, let's run it. And our GUI currently has uh, several items already. We have a weight here, so a text field to collect weight information. So we can say a user is 170, 27 pounds. And let's say the height is five foot two inches. And that calculates to healthy. We have a healthy BMI at 23.23. Uh, let's change the weight from 127 to 200. Obviously, this is going to be overweight. So we see that that's not healthy. BMI is 36.58. And the healthy weight that was brought here was 117 pounds. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a field where the user can input a specific uh, BMI. So currently our BMI field here is non-editable. So there's no information that can be uh, put here, but we're going to create a new field where the user can say, let's say they want a specific BMI. They want to aim for, uh, let's say a BMI of 25. We'll allow the user to put that BMI here and what we'll do is we'll calculate what weight the user must be to to have that 25 BMI. So let's go ahead and clear this. We're going to exit and we're going to go to our source or actually let's create our fields in our GUI here. So we're just going to place two more additional fields right here to the side of BMI and we're going to get a label. So our first label we're going to say is desired BMI. So this is the BMI that the user would like to be and we're going to change that font. So let's make it a, a bold. Let's make it 18. Okay. So desired BMI and right below that or actually right. Let's put it right to the side of it. We're going to put a text field. So we're going to put that text field right beside it. And let's say let's edit the text. So we just want to clear that out. And we're going to change our variable name. So for our variable name, let's think of something that will be simple for us to remember. So we're just going to call it. So we're going to right click change variable name and we're going to call it desired TF. So desired text field. Next, oh, let's edit that text. I want to get that BMI to be a capital I. All right. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to create a field called ideal weight. So the ideal weight will be based on what the user wants their BMI to be. So we're going to edit that text and we're just going to say ideal weight. Get our colon there and we're going to change the, the font. So let's make it a bold 18. Okay. And we're also going to add another text field. So let's add that here, edit that text. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did at top, up top. So we're going to change that variable name. So for this variable name, we're going to change it to ideal. So ideal TF text field. So, and we're going to make this one non editable. So we're going to deselect that editable and now we, we won't allow the user to input any information into this ideal uh, weight field here. We only want the user to be able to uh, put input into the desired BMI field. All right, so now that we have both of our, our variables, what we're gonna do is go to our source. So in order to go to our source, we can either select source or we can double click our enter. It goes to the field we wanna uh, add more additional code to. So we're going to add a couple of more uh, doubles here. So double variables. So the first double variable is going to be called desired BMI. So double desired BMI and get a semicolon. And next we're going to have double ideal weight semicolon. And next we're going to have a string called desired BMI one. So string desired BMI one semicolon. All right. So our code at the bottom here, we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to get that 
uh, information from the text field and we're going to convert that information into a double so a number so so our text field let's see so let's say desired desired BMI one equals so this is our string desired text field dot get text so we're going to get that text from our text field now we're going to convert that text into a double so into a number so desire desired BMI equals double dot parse double desired BMI one and that semicolon at the end all right, so now that we have that, so now we're grabbing that text field and we're going to convert that text field into a number. Now we're going to go down to where we want to, that number to be calculated. So we're going to go right below our total height. So as soon as total height is calculated, we're going to add that here. So we're going to say ideal weight equals. And so we're just going to get that reverse uh, information for calculating BMI, right? So we're going to say desired BMI so that input the user input times total height times total height and we're going to divide that by 703 and put that semicolon there right so we're gonna get that information so this is the formula for getting uh, BMI based on um, getting the, the weight based on BMI all right so now we have to set that information into the text field so we have to set that answer into the text field we want it to be set to so the text field is called the ideal uh, text field so we're going to enter enter here just to get some space and we're going to say ideal tf dot set text double dot to string and our variable was ideal weight ideal weight all right so let's get some space here so we can make it look good and now we're going to format that right so we're going to format it to the the two decimal place format uh, text format so ideal tf dot set text string dot format and then get our parentheses and our quotes and we're going to say percentage dot 2f and then that comma and then we're going to put ideal weight all right so this is the formula for calculating bmi based on uh weight uh, based on bmi so let's run this and let's see what we get so our GUI is a little bit bigger. It's getting bigger every time we add something. But let's see if it functions how we want it to function. So let's enter a weight. And remember, there's also something that catches if the user doesn't enter a number, right? So if we hit enter here, we have a little pop up. So our program doesn't break or doesn't fail. It says, sorry, you must enter a number. So let's say uh, 223. All right, and it gets populated here. All right, so let's say our user is six foot one. Enter it, and it says, sorry, you must enter a number. So what's happening here is it's expecting our user to enter a number here as well because our try catch is catching this, right? So what's happening, we're gonna enter two, two, three again, and it's it's just gonna get placed here again, but before we run this program, we need to make sure we have a desired BMI. So that's something we're working on, where we're going to work on in the next video. But for this video, 
uh, let's say the user wants to be a BMI, a certain BMI, it doesn't matter what the current one is. So let's say the desired BMI is 25. So if we hit enter, it calculates. So it's almost healthy. And if you go down to our code, currently we don't have any healthy weight for almost healthy. We only put it for um, higher. So our do, do while loop is only for higher and underweight. So if you're, if you have a BMI higher than 30, we have a do while loop. And we also have a do while loop for if you're under, uh, underweight, which would be considered a G, uh, BMI of 18.5 or below. So we don't currently have one for do while. We can add one. But for this demonstration, let's make sure the user is more than uh, 30 BMI. So uh, more than 30 is just probably a couple more pounds. So let's say 230. Enter. So it's not healthy. So we get a healthy weight here. And the healthy weight is 162. So remember our healthy weight uh, information was, let's see, I think we put, so this is over 30. So the BMI is over 30, it's 30.34. So our healthy weight is over 21.5. So as long as it's 21.5, our while loop was running. So this healthy weight is based on a 21.5 BMI. However, the user, would like to just get to 25. So that weight is 189.51, right? So let's try it with our healthy weight. Let's try to change the weight to 162 and let's see what happens. So if we change the weight to 162, it, the user becomes healthy. The BMI is 21.37, which is under our 21.5, uh, right? And so what was happening is here is we were just uh, decreasing the weight by one pound until it reached below 21.5. So now let's see what our desired BMI, our desired BMI is 25. So if we change the number to 189.51, we should have a, a BMI of 25. So if we enter that, we see it's 25 and it's almost healthy weight based on our, our criteria here. So almost healthy was between 24.9 and 30 right so what we'll do in the next video is we'll add those uh, do while loops so we can calculate almost healthy as well and healthy everything is good so there's nothing that needs to be changed but for our almost healthy we change that and also we'll allow the program to run without um all criteria to be entered except for weight so we would need a desired bmi and the height to be entered for the program to run. Otherwise, uh, so the the weight we would need to, to skip. So that would be interesting to do, but for now this program works as we desire it to. So we enter our BMI. So let's change the BMI. Let's say we want the desired BMI to be um, 20. So we enter that. And so now the ideal weight uh, goes to 151.61. So if we hit 151.61, our BMI should change to 20. So now we're healthy and the BMI changes to 20. And so we're getting the correct calculation we want to get. However, if we clear it and we didn't add this information to our clear button, so we can do that now actually. So let's go to our clear button. If we scroll all the way down, we just have to add a couple of more text fields. So it was ideal text field that set text and just an empty string. And there's, um, was it BMI? What was the other variable? The other variable name was desired TF. So we go to desired TF dot set text another empty string all right we're going to save that let's run the program again and let's get our gy so currently if we hit let's say desired bmi let's put 21 and let's say our user is six feet uh three inches enter so 
currently our program doesn't run because we're expecting the user to input a weight here. So let's put that, let's put a weight here. Let's say the user is currently 256. Okay. Enter and our, our program runs. Our current BUI, uh, BMI is 31.99 based on a user that's six foot three inches and 256 pounds. Healthy weight would be 172. Desired BMI, however, of 21 would put the user at 168.3 or 0 0.03 pounds. So the user would have to drop uh, some weight to get there. And something else we could also actually put is how much, uh, what the difference is between the, the weight and the ideal weight and put it kind of here. Like you would have to lose this much weight in order to, to uh, get this number that you want, the desired BMI. And also if they were underweight, uh, you would have to gain this much weight. So these are also things we can add in our next video. However, the program is it works the way I want it to work, which is ca uh, calculating the desired BMI uh, based on the height. And we also had to put a weight here for the user already, but it works how I expected it to work and we'll fix everything in the next video. All right. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please always remember to like and subscribe to see more.